direct addressing, actual memory location address. It specifically says, I want to do something, I want to read from or I want to write to address 12345, direct addressing. Then we have indirect addressing. An indirect address is basically a pointer. What it means is, I want to write to the memory address that's stored at memory address 5. Well, what you'd have to do is go to memory address 5, open it up, and find out the contents of that memory address, and that would be an address to where you want to end up getting to. There's a few more nuances to the memory addressing, but those are the ideas. Now, why do we care? We care because these are ways that hackers can put their own addresses in, especially with indirect addressing. If I know that my program is going to write to a memory address pointed to by the memory address 5, all I have to do is somehow get a different location, the location that I want inside memory address 5. So it gives the attackers an idea of where they want to head. Again, this is very low level, and you need to have an understanding of exactly which instructions machines are executing. How can we do that? It's very possible to take any executable and either decompile or unassemble and take a look at the primitive statements that are occurring step by step. When you do, or when an attacker disassembles a program that's executing, it comes up or results in a tremendously large output file. Tons and tons of instructions are occurring every second, and it takes a very high level of sophistication to analyze what's going on and be able to use these type of attacks. However, they're available, and lots of attackers are aware of them. So again, you need to be aware of how your memory is being addressed internally.